Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. Welcome to a new Steel Division 2 cast for today. We are here. I am so excited to bring you this game. It is Sean versus Nilla. Ho ho ho. I am excited. So, we're on Harash J. I cannot pronounce it. I apologize. We're playing. Uh, Sean is playing the 14th Infantry on balance. He's on the left hand side in blue. Nilla playing the 184th Strelkovi on the right hand side in red, playing them on Vanguard income. Let's have a look at the playoffs so far. This is the first of the two semi finals Sean versus Nilla. And what? Just, I am looking forward to this so much. I've not seen Sean and Nilla play in a professional tournament um, before, so it'll be exciting to see them. I think Sean is probably considered the best player in the world, won Steel Division 2 League Season 1. Nilla probably third in the world at this point behind Gonzo, but yeah, this is going to be exciting. Let's have a look at Sean's deck. He is playing the 14th Infantry on Balanced. So he's going to start off with those Panzer II Luxers and he's got them in B phase as well. He's got a total of 130 infantry units. That's a lot of infantry. But like Pioneers, they are strong, but they do cost 40 points a piece and you only get three of them. Those Panzer II Luxers are going to do quite a good job at taking care of Nilla's infantry. Unless Nilla can take care of them quite easily. The Tigers will be the main heavy tanks for Sean. Lots of IGs, a card of IG 290s, and then two cards of IG 18s in B phase. Uh, quite a few pack 40s as well. Some artillery and some aircraft to round out the mix. Let's have a look at Nilla's deck. It's the 184th Yastrel Covey. And uh, I've heard him talk about this deck a lot. I know he likes it. I don't think I've seen him play it. I don't think I've casted him playing it. So I'm very excited. And I actually have been playing a version of it myself. So, uh, yeah. Maybe I casted it once before. I, I can't quite remember. But yeah, he's got uh, snipers to start off with. Sniper, sniper, snipers. He loves those snipers. Chern opens an Iki card in B phase. 27 of those units. 139 units of infantry in total. So actually, Sean, you know, although he's on balance, the number of infantry units in total is around about the same. Um, he, Nilla does have the M5s in the tank tab. They're going to be important to take on those Panzer II Luxers. And actually, those M5s, I think, will come off better than the Panzer II Lux. It depends if they can avoid the Tigers. Um, Nilla, in order to take out those Tigers, I mean, I think he's going to have to use... It's interesting. He's got the ISU-122. They will definitely do the job if he can use them. They suffer from a slow rate of fire but they can take out those Tigers. He's got the M42 guns. They are going to struggle to take out a Tiger. They're going to need side shots. Um, but this map does, you know, does allow for that. It does allow for the possibility of side shots. He's also going to use the IL-2 M3s in the air tab. But yeah, maybe the Tigers could become a threat. I think Nilla's going to look to push this game early. We know Sean plays balanced income. We know Nilla plays a very aggressive early game. Whew, who is going to win this one? Wow. And actually, Nilla's got two C phase cards of Strokey. So he ha and he's got a massive B phase cards of Cherno Pizzaniki. He has a lot of infantry in this deck. Oh, I am excited to see this one i rushed through that quick because i don't want to miss any action whatsoever i can see sean is still placing down a few units let me take this opportunity to thank you for watching the cast so far i hope you've been enjoying them i really do if you have and you enjoy this one as well hit that like button and remember if you haven't subscribed make sure you do subscribe i also stream on twitch so head into the description find my twitch channel go over there hit that follow button 
and uh, come watch me play Steel Division 2 live. I tend to play Steel Division 2 and War Thunder at the moment. They're my two main games and I love them both. So yeah, make sure you jump in and join me. Right, let's have head down and have a look. Major Flamenworth push in the south for Sean. Wow. Oh, he's going into this forest for sure. Oh, and will Nilla take up Frublord's strategy of bypassing the south? He doesn't. But he could have done that with those those Flamenworth pushers. Interesting, Sean using all of his Flamenworth as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in that southern approach. Wow. Okay, let's just recap. So on the left hand side, we have the number one in the world, Sean. On balanced income, playing the 14th infantry. He's going aggressive in the south and then you know balanced elsewhere and then we probably have the number three seed in the world nilla uh, on vanguard income playing the 184th the Austral kovi he's gonna go strong in the center from the looks of it he's gonna look to capitalize on the center and just defend the flanks so will sean be able to hold that southern side will nilla be able to push through the center i think both sides kind of just respecting each other up north not really pushing forwards with any kind of attack there look at the infantry pouring into the center but actually sean has quite a lot of infantry here as well and he has the commandant already there nilla has the combat they are both exceptional players at this game the flamenworthers aren't yet moving forwards the IL-2M3 is in here straight away, targeting those Sekirungs and the Urzat Trooper. There is a flak ring in here already, right next to the Commander and an early kill. Wow, wow, an early kill there onto the IL-2M3. Nilla will not have enjoyed that. Man, Panzer II looks in here already. Three stars firing down at these strokey DPs. The center is where it's at right now i can't imagine anything else is more important than that center ground the stroke is i think they do manage to uh, destroy one unit of Urzax troop and i think it was in here maybe i missed that but it looks like nilla is using his ogma cheeky to flank around the north of this city another panzer two looks on its way in there are 52 p's littered around the battlefield from nilla and he's slowly pushing through this infantry the Urzax troop and is being pushed back the panzer two luxes are not enough to hold off the hordes of nilla's infantry the sniper Sh shanina is suppressing the urzats trooping on the south the flamenworthers engage wow he's got <laughs> look at how he's got them the battle of the southern flamenworthers who is going to win i think sean is going to win but he's engaged He's got his Flamenworth. Nilla's able to engage them one by one. Now he engages. And Sean's lost three Flamenworthers already. I think he's just, just going to manage to hold that southern position. But this is tight. I think Sean made a mistake there. He didn't react quick enough. Although I think Sean will win this out. Yeah, he will win this position out. But definitely has lost more Flamenworthers than he needed to in that southern side. In comes more Urzats trooping. Trying to hold this center ground. The snipers taking shots at the Urzats MG. An ME410, I think was trying to probably take this sniper out here. May well have hit this southern area. Didn't quite see it, but look at the front line for Nilla. Maybe it's shown him there's not a lot here. Nilla advancing up north as well. There are Stoss Troop here, and Urzat's Trooper, and I, I mean, there's a lot of Tanko Disaniki. I think Nilla's got this spot up north. He's throwing in the smoke. That northern assault is going to catch Sean off guard, I'm sure of it. In comes more snipers, more Strelke DP and M5s into the centre. Nilla is definitely, well, we're still at a 12-12. I would say he's putting Sean on the back foot, but we are still at a 12-12 right now. No reinforcements for Nilla into that southern side just yet. Can Sean hold it on? Now they have to Michiki come in. I think they will be able to clear it up if Nilla engages effectively. The Flavelling, interesting, is pushed forwards outside of the uh, range of the Commandant. And Sean now moving it back. Yeah. I'm not sure whether he, that was intentional, whether that was like a misclick of micro there. 
In comes this northern attack. The Tanko de Samnikis push through with a strokey DP. They unload into the flank of these Urzats troop and Stoss troop. It looks like Nilla is pushing through successfully up in this northern side. Down goes two units of infantry for Sean and he's gonna have to retreat everything I'm just he's pushing forward the pack 184 I wonder whether he's doing that to sacrifice it to give him time to retreat his infantry that's a really odd movement there most people would normally you know pull these units back but I feel like he's somehow sacrificing it really strange to see but his infantry, I think, have maybe just managed to get into the buildings in time. Can he hold on to that northern position? The Panzer II looks up there. He's going to be key. But the center has collapsed for Sean. A lot of reinforcing troops are coming in for Nilla. And the, just the uh, pure aggressive infantry tactics are winning the day for Nilla right now. The southern side still holding off for Sean. But it's just a matter of time until those after Michikis come in a hell hell of a lot of Urzat trooping and securings into that central side can Sean stem the tide of this infantry push will Nilla win out he has the 1410 I don't think it's enough against a balanced Sean he needs to push for a 159 but he's got it he's got the 159 now can he hold it this northern side I think is key there is a PTRS 41 in there that Panzer took two looks has to survive this PTRS strike but so far, I don't think he's seeing that PTRS. He needs to engage it. The Panzer II looks must survive if he's going to hold on to this northern side. There needs to be more reinforcements coming in as well. And there is nothing. Sean's reallocating central troops of Urzat's trooper and trying to hold this push in the north. But Nilla has another four after Machiki's rushing in. And he's still got Tanko Disaniki's in reserve. Wow. The Panzer II looks finally goes down. Losing that is going to be a huge blow. All oh, these bad guy pioneers in here as well, and they've been caught out in the open. Nilla should push for that surrender. The Aftermanchikis are coming into position. Wow, if Nilla could pick up that Baglite Pioneer surrender, that would be major right now. But I don't think he's noticed them. He isn't going to push for it. He does pick up a surrender of the Securing. Surely. 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 How is that unit not surrendered? It's just died instead. It's just died. <laughs> in comes a ME 410. Can Sean survive? He's fallen back to another position back here, but Nilla has the 159. And it's important that Nilla holds on to that 159. Nilla will get the victory in 14 minutes time. There's another flag here he could capture. He's starting to uh, push forwards in the south once more. In comes another Ogna Michiki. I think he could and handle the Flammenwerfers in there now with the two after Michiki squads, but I don't think he wants to risk it just yet. Wow, 16-8 for Nilla. He's captured this flag here. The, re the, the flag that Sean fell back to and Nilla has captured it already. Oof, this just just aggression from Nilla in the early game. This is this is to me this feels like Gonzo in the Steel Division Normandy 44 days. Gonzo just doesn't feel as aggressive now when you look at Nilla. Gonzo feels more like a trader and Nilla just feels like a pure out and out vanguard rusher at all costs. His infantry infantry and infantry he does have m5s in here now and they are able to take care of the panzer II. look sean does have a pack 184 in here but the after machiki are harassing the urzats troop and strokey are going to go down to the stoss troop the m5 i don't think we'll get there in time but sean is desperately trying to hold on to this northern position nilla has a 17-7 right now he has surrounded flags in the south 17 7 13 minutes left for nilla to hang on can he hang on we're about to enter b phase who sean is under so much pressure right now i'm not sure he's encountered this kind of pressure in a very long time the ig 290 does unload in time but uh it's down to the first shot the 52p the il2 m3 does come in hit the securings Nilla still advancing forwards. It's an IG versus a 52P. I think the IG actually will get the uh, kill there. It's been able to get 
two shots off. The fire rate is definitely more advanced. The M5s are pushing forwards. Nilla is probably going to capture another flag. He's up to a 19.5, possibly a 24 right now. Just unbelievable aggression. The ME410. Just look at this M5 pushing through, trying to pick up surrenders. Unfortunately, the leader, it's the commandant. It's a surrender. It's a surrender from Sean. Wow. Nine minutes, 56 seconds. Sean surrenders. Nilla picks up the victory in the first game of the two, and that is unexpected to say the least. 1,000 kills exactly to 620 losses. Congratulations, Nilla. Commiseration, Sean. Nilla picks up the first game in this best of three. Wow. That was pure aggression early on, and Sean just could not stand up to the advances that Nilla made. Nilla played that one perfectly. Nilla really played that one perfectly. Three star strokers. I mean, they did a lot of damage. And the Panzer II Luxes were not enough to hold off those strokers. I thought the Panzer II Luxes would get more of the job done, but unfortunately for Sean, they did not. The sniper leader, Shanina. Did manage to pick up an Urzatz kill and an IG-290 kill. Just infantry picking apart infantry. And that just left Sean with no control over the battlefield. At all. At all. The Flak Fling did get that early IL-2 M3 kill. Man. I mean, that was a big kill early on. But Nilla just was able to push through. Just completely the Beglite Pioneers they did not do enough well, I guess they did take down two strokey DPs so I think they paid paid for themselves but these Beglite Pioneers you want them to be they are the heroes of this squad of this division they, they need to be doing a lot of damage wow that was short and that was sharp but certainly full of a, a, a lot of action. I cannot believe that game is over. I cannot believe that game is over. I thought for sure Sean was going to last longer against Nilla. But that first match, maybe it was a shock to Sean. Maybe it was a shock to Sean. The, just the pure aggressiveness of Nilla's playstyle. What a fantastic game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Also remember, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you don't miss that next game. It is, I'm sure, going to be absolutely fantastic. Sean has to pull a game back. Otherwise, Nilla is through to the final. We'll see what happens in the next game. I am Angry Bird. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time.